Welcome back to Eyes Open, the show where we delve into and recreate the eyes of the movie monsters and creatures we all know and love. My name is Mark, and today we're going back to the Friday the 13th franchise and looking at the eyes from Jason Voorhees in 1984's Friday the 13th, The Final Chapter. When we did our first episode of Eyes Open, we recreated the eyes from Jason Voorhees in Jason X, which, if you haven't already, go check that shit out. Today, Four Seal Studios wanted to jump back into the Friday series and create another set of eyes. With Friday the 13th, the final chapter, definitely regarded as one of the best sequels in the long history of the franchise, Friday the final chapter would pick up immediately after part three, where after arriving at the hospital, Jason awakes and heads his ass back down to Crystal Lake, where a group of pretty likable and a fun young cast of characters, including Crispin Glover, They arrive right next door to the Jarvis residence, which introduces us for the first time to Tommy Jarvis, initially played by Corey Feldman. And then as night falls one by one, you know the drill by now, till we get a final confrontation to see how exactly a small little boy is going to take down this big boy. Since Friday the 13th part four was billed as the final installment, Tom Savini came back for the makeup effects to essentially kill Jason. By this time, the MPAA was all up Friday's ass and made them do multiple cuts. The filmmakers would eventually cut down most of the kills in the movie, so that way they could preserve the whole ending sequence for the killing of Jason. Just needed that satisfaction. Jason this time around just completely wreaks havoc and goes out with a bang. Ted White stepped in as Jason, who is the oldest actor to date to portray the character, and has to be one of the darkest and scariest portrayals of Jason. I mean, look at that. I'd be shitting my pants right about now. And when we get to the ending, Trish knocks off Jason's mask and we get some up-close shots of them eyes, which we'll be recreating today. So without further ado, let's head our asses down to Crystal Lake and get our eyes open on the final Friday. While we're waiting for those eyes to finish up, let's talk a little bit about the original and alternate ending to The Final Friday. By now, we all know Tommy distracts and confuses Jason just long enough to slam the machete in his face, and then ultimately Tommy going batshit crazy on him. It ends with Tommy hugging Trish in the hospital bed and freeze frames on an ominous stare. Now, as much as I love this film, I will say that the alternate ending they chose not to use for the film would have been so much more eerie. It's the next morning and we find Tommy and Trish exhausted and then hear the sirens approaching. Trish then notices water draining and follows it upstairs and finds her mother dead in the bathtub. While holding on to her, we see an unmasked and out of focus Jason behind her shoulder. Then her mother's eyes open to this shocking white eye reveal to Jason slamming the machete down on Trish. Then we cut to reveal it was only a dream. I just found this ending so much more satisfying. And it feels in line with all the final girls curse with the Crystal Lake ending dream. Now, am I being a little biased here just because this alternate ending features an eyeball shot? Ah shit, maybe a little bit. Come to think of it, why didn't we put this shot in the eyes open intro? Shit, what was I thinking? Also, what was Crispin Glover thinking when deciding on this dance? Who the hell knows? But I think we should keep it going in the bottom corner and go check out those eyes. The man who killed your sister is dead. Jason's body has disappeared from the morning. Two people at the hospital are missing. Is it coincidence? It's a lie. Jason was my son, and today is his birthday. Big fat words. Where's that, uh, that corkscrew, that fancy corkscrew from the wine bottle? Ted? And there you go, finished eyes from Friday the 13th, the final chapter. This entry in the series is my personal favorite. It really has everything of a great Friday film. The creepy atmosphere, the makeup effects, stylish and creative kill sequences, a creepy and downright brutal edge to Jason, a cast of characters you really do care for, and Harry Manfredini's iconic score. Friday the 13th, the final chapter just sticks out in the series. And in the end, wouldn't it be the final chapter after all? 
And same goes for our episodes on Friday the 13th. I'm sure more eyes from particular Jasons will pop up in the future. But of course, for now, Friday the 13th, the final chapter, let's not forget that my boss. Next week's episode, we're gonna be looking at the eyes from that crocodile in 1999's Lake Placid. So be on the lookout next week and, you know, keep your eyes open.